my name is Brooklyn, otherwise known as the Dramatic Otaku, and welcome to my New Year's resolutions of 2024. So, this isn't going up on the 30th or 31st, solely because New Year's resolutions. This isn't going up on the 30th or 31st because of my weave wrap-ups. Um, I'm doing a mega compilation followed by the November December weave wrap up of course that means that this video can't go up on the 30th or 31st and it's not going up on the first soon as 2024 hits I am going back to once a week um every week so we're gonna get into my new year's resolutions uh these are mainly for the channel as well as what cosplays that I really really want to do next year as well as conventions I want to go to, cosplays I want to repeat, stuff mainly surrounding this channel. So we have some goals for the channel that I really, really fucking want to do. Um, one is to upload a video essay or equivalent once every two months on opposite months to the Weeb, Weeb wrap up. So every first month will be a um, video essay or equivalent. Um, and every second month will be the weave wrap up. So I'm not doing a fucking video essay every single month because that would be fucking insane. Resolution number two. Don't upload a video of me freaking out about my equipment. It's freaking the fuck out this year. Um, I did one too many of those this year, which I really didn't want to do. Probably shouldn't do. So... Let's not do that next year. Number three for channel goals. Um, I actually kind of want to start a Minecraft series. Um, that or like I want to start a gaming series this year. Um, maybe start streaming as well, but I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm still trying to figure out all of this shit. So um, it's a maybe right now. Either a Minecraft series or I want to start streaming this year. Uh, will it be on YouTube or Twitch? Ooh, I'm gonna start maybe both. Maybe maybe alternating both. I don't know. Um, and number four, try bring back a two per week video system. Maybe bi-weekly. So like every first week you've got two videos. Every second week you've got one video. Stuff like that. Um, that sort of depends. If I'm doing a video essay once every two months, I can't really do a two per week thing. But if I do do that... Um, minecraft series maybe i do one video a week and that's on a friday i don't know i am full of ideas for what i want to do for 2024 but those are my main goals channel wise uh i really do want to like do a lot more uh video wise this year um also didn't mention this before thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers we've been like teetering on 594 about six months at this point so finally to get pushed over um into 600 is fucking amazing to me um and i'm genuinely thank you all so much um i really really appreciate it um it makes me really really happy and i'm glad to see that there are a bunch of people really enjoying my content and really enjoying the videos that i put out and stuff like that so thank you guys so much anyway that being said um cosplay <laughs> probably the shit most of you guys are here for so there is a bunch of cosplays that i have for this year mostly um these are sort of just up in the air if i actually will do them or not um there's also a couple that i've like forgotten about mentally or there's like a very specific version of a character that i want to do like there's this version of hatsune miku that i want to do that's like a very specific style of um Hudson to make you based on a figure so in terms of cosplays that i actually want to do that i want to start to be brand spanking new we've got whisper me love song i still don't know if i want to do yori or himari um it sort of depends on what wig i can get my hands on um i'm more likely to go he uh, yori than himari but i really would love to do a cosplay this year especially seeing as the um anime is coming out so um definitely doing that i'm probably going to end up doing yori but you never know i could do one of the other characters entirely but yori is like my favorite so uh next i want to do scar good times with scar from the limited life series or oh, sorry the secret life series um because spoilers um <laughs> uh 
he did very well this season and uh this one's actually a cosplay with friend mia she's gonna do i believe pearl um or clear one of them um so this is sort of just like a cosplay duo i think next is i want to update ai hoshino because i have very mixed feelings about that cosplay that i made um so i will be updating it um it really really needs a good like adjustment um i'll probably be doing actually a different version of ai hoshino's outfit probably closer to this figure here where she's wearing where she's wearing like puffs and a vest and all that sort of stuff i really like this outfit a lot more it's just that the previous outfit was a lot more well known um at the time so i might do that instead for an updated ai hoshino want to debut my poison ivy outfit um i keep putting that off <laughs> um but i'm gonna try really hard to push for that one um that might be what i work on in january but i'm not 100 percent sure uh especially since i want to continue hanji now when i debuted hanji at oz comic con i actually hadn't finished her properly i still needed to finish up the cape I also um, wanted to actually hand make the straps um, but because like it would take a lot of extra stuff to do the straps I hadn't so I would like to do that this year as well it, it's pretty simple fixing up hanjis um, but I still want to finish that then of course I would also love to make an updated version of my Technoblade cosplay um, that really also depends on what wigs I can get my hands on um, as well as uh, fabrics stuff like that um, I want to try and eliminate a lot of the fabrics that are already in my um, cosplay box that's why I make a lot of the cosplays I do like Christmas Poison Ivy last year Psyduck this year all of Psyduck was secondhand fabric so I really want to like eliminate those types of fabrics you know um then I would also love to do a QSMP cosplay specifically around the eggs so think of the likes of Sunny, Tallulah, Cheyenne stuff like that um I'm not 100% sure on what QSMP like player I would want to do a cosplay of. I don't think there's any that I really want to do a cosplay of. Um, I would much rather do the like eggs because it's a lot more up to interpretation there. And then last but not least, as much as I didn't really like Attack on Junior High, I really loved this version of Armin. I thought it was really funny. Um, so I think it might be really funny to do an Armin cosplay dress like that. Um, that being said, moving on to repeat cosplays that I would like to do again this coming year. So I've got Hayasaka. I love my Hayasaka cosplay. Um, for as much as I don't like the wig, um, I really love the cosplay. It was really easy. It was really fun. I would like to go to a convention in that cosplay again. Then we have Kobeni. Um, as always, love Kobeni. Love the outfit. Haruhi. I have not cosplayed Haruhi in a long time, surprisingly. So... Maybe uh, in the first couple of months, I'll whip out the wig and try and redo Haruhi properly. Um, do my due diligence to Haruhi. That being said, I also want to bring back Sailor Jupiter. The whole reason I didn't re-dye my hair fully uh, was because I was going to have the tips of my hair be coloured while cosplaying Sailor Jupiter, much like I actually did with Hanji this year. Um, and wear my natural hair to a convention again just with like green at the bottom and my hair is partially turning green as we speak so <laughs> that's sooner rather than later i also really really want to cosplay waluigi again if i go to pax waluigi will be one of those cosplays um other than that i don't know when i'm going to cosplay waluigi again i really need to fix the buttons there is a lot i need to actually refix with uh, Waluigi but other than that I really really want to cosplay him again I always have a good time cosplaying with Waluigi and last but not least I also have some Sanrio characters that I do want to cosplay so this year I whipped out whipped up a Kurumi and uh last year I believe I also whipped up a, a cinema roll cosplay I would love to re-cosplay these guys because I think they are so fucking cute. I especially love my cinema roll cosplay. It's like so adorable and I would love to wear it to a convention just because it's like all Harajuku fashion and all that sort of stuff. I love my cinema roll cosplay. 
Kurumi, you can't tell as much, but I do, do still love Kurumi. I would like to debut Cinemaroll at a convention, but um, I might need to work a little more on Cinemaroll for that. We also have my Melody. I have my Melody, like, little backpack thing that I didn't get to wear to a convention like I wanted to because I'm more practical with conventions. If I debut Cinemaroll at a convention, I will be wearing my Melody bag, but uh, possibly I would like to wear my Melody on this channel at some point as well. Um, and that is all of the cosplays that I would like to do in 2024. Um, yes, it's a lot, um, but most of them, most of the repeat cosplays will be on this channel, whereas actual go-to convention cosplays is gonna be a different thing. That is like where I wanna debut Ivy, wanna wear Scar, um, potentially like make a Techno cosplay, adjust my Hanji cosplay, um, and do the repeat cosplay of like Hayasaka, Waluigi, stuff like that. Whispering a love song, that depends. I reckon if I do a um, cosplay of Whispering a love song around the time it airs, maybe. Um, That'd be good, but I would like to make it really early on in the year. Uh, just so that I don't rush into it like I did with uh, I uh, for this year. But yeah, um, speaking of conventions, what conventions would I love to go to next year? First of all, obviously, Oz Comic Con and Oz Comic Con Christmas. Those two I'd really love to go to. Just based on the um, timelines. I don't know if I'll be able to go to Oz Comic Con. Christmas, definitely. Just the regular Oz Comic Con, I don't know. I want to save up for PAX. That is one of my big goals this year. I would like to go to PAX with my partner. Um, just because she really wanted to go this year. But we just ended up not going because they're expensive as. Um, what I want to do is I want to go to all three days. Um, which is going to be very overwhelming. But I would like to go all three days so I can not only cosplay all three days, but actually enjoy myself at the convention and play the games. Um, what's it called? Look at like what's upcoming in gaming, shit like that. Um, so I would really like to go to PAX this year just because I missed out this year and it looked like a lot of fun. Now, <clears throat> now, would I like to go to Animanga this year as well? Well, this coming year as well. Um, yes. I would like to go to Animanga. I had a lot of fun this year. Um, will I be spending a thousand dollars in Animanga again? No. <laughs> Preferably, <laughs> Preferably not. not. I would actually like to actually properly, properly enjoy properly myself in Animanga. Animanga, Animanga, was, Animanga really was really fun. Um, or at least, um, conceptually. Or at least conceptually. Really fun. Really in, fun. Conceptually. Really fun. In, in theory. theory. In practice, in practice not, so much. not so much. Um, I would, um, also, I would also really, really, really like, like to... to Go, go to, to um uh, i believe kaiga convention is coming to melbourne this year as well um i would like to have a shot at going to there it's a perth convention so it's i've heard it's very fun smash that is the other one so i really really want to save up for packs smash is either going to be a this year thing or a next year thing just because smash is the biggest anime convention in australia so um, I would love to go to Smash this year, um, but that takes a lot of planning. It's going to cost a lot because it's not only like me going to a convention, it's me to going to a convention interstate. Um, so I'd have to book accommodation, get food, uh, pack, book um, travel stuff. I'd have to go with someone. So just with my finances at the moment, Smash is not looking like a this year thing. Um, I'm much more likely just to go to PAX this year. Smash might be a next year thing. Would I like to go to an interstate con this year? Absolutely. Um, is it viable for me to go to an interstate convention? Not likely. So, <laughs> um, if that does happen, big long vlog for that because I will be vlogging my experience in whatever state I go to. Um, but this isn't a spur of the moment thing. This is a very much plan for a long time kind of thing going to another state. In this case, it'd be going to Sydney. Um, sorting out accommodation, sorting out travel. Would I be going by plane or would I be going by train? What would I be doing? You know, that sort of thing is something I would really like to do. Will I be going to Supernova this year? Um, it sort of depends. Um, it's looking like it just because that's probably where we'll be doing the Life Series cosplay. However, again, I'm currently in debt 
to my brother, so I can't save. So that has thrown a massive spanner into what I'm doing this year or this coming year in terms of conventions. I don't want to go to a convention every single fucking month. There is a lot of conventions that come to Australia. The ones that I'm definitely going to is OzComicCon Christmas, like always. Uh, and then whatever one sort of like pops up that I'm really interested in. Metro this year was sort of like a surprise. It was for me's party. So we sort of went to that one. Um, Animaga was sort of my birthday thing. Uh, Oz Comic Con Christmas we always go to. So that was always in the books. Um, but other conventions, especially early on in the year, it's a little like difficult to gauge on if I will actually go to them or not um, and Supernova Melbourne tends to be earlier in the year so it'll really depend uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on the conventions for this year but so far main one Oz Comic Con Christmas and PAX that is my main goal for this year maybe also Animanga stuff like that but yeah um, that is all for my goals for this year um i'm very excited for this upcoming year especially on the front of making stuff for this channel i can actually fund myself into making stuff for this channel i have a lot of ideas that i really want to do as well some of them goofy some of them fun um and i'm really excited for this upcoming year i really hope it's a good one and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed what are your new year's resolutions for this year and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for one of the final days of Upload Every Day December. Bye.